Beats PTV. Subscribe now. Get abonniert. My name is Rick Ski. I'm sitting here with the legendary MC from Queensbridge, Black Poet. How are you doing? What up, what up? You already know what it is, man. I'm here, ready to whatever, you know what I'm saying? Who hand? Your first record came out in like 86, the Wap Sensation and all of that. How did you team up with uh, Rockwell Noel back then? You know, Rockwell Noel, you know, he's from the block, you know what I'm saying? That's my dude from the block. You know what I'm saying? He grew up on the same block as me. Me, him, Molly, Craig G, Tragedy, all of us is from the same block. Vernon, 41st side. So, you know, but Molly was running around with the Juice Crew doing his Juice Crew thing. Me and Noel was like our little secret weapon for uh, for anybody, you know what I'm saying? So me and Noel teamed up and we did I Beat You Down, going at Karis one BDP, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they tried to come out to Queensbridge, tried to disrespect the hood, and I ain't really feel that shit. So I came with my shit and had my shit to say. So that's what it is with that. So uh, this this was my <laughs> my next question. The the beat you down song, um, you attacked like boogie down production. Cares won like really hard back then. Can you can you describe the situation back then? Was like the, the so called bridge was was it really that serious? Yeah, man, it was serious, man. You know, back in the days, you get beat the fuck up for saying the wrong shit in hip hop for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but. Uh, Nowadays it's easier, you know what I'm saying? You diss somebody, they diss you back, diss back and forth. But back then, I mean, you really get shot and stabbed fucking around, you know what I mean? But right now it's all good, man. But oh uh, yeah, that was my first thing going at KRS-One, BDP, Queensbridge versus the Bronx, Queensbridge versus the world. You already know what it is, you know what I'm saying? They, everybody say KRS-One won now, you know. The only reason why I think KRS-One really got busy on that because you know he had he had the better promotion and I wasn't juice crew you know what I'm saying I, I was black po I was poet I wasn't even black poet it was just me and Noel and we didn't even have no distributing or nothing like that we wasn't we didn't have fucking Warner Brothers behind us or nothing like that because I would have definitely smashed Sun out even though me and Karis were we cool now but back then all I needed was the all I needed is some money behind me man and it's over so did you actually uh, ran into Chaos One back then? Maybe at the Latin Quarter or something? Yeah, I ran into Chaos One. He did a show in Queens. They tried to do a show in Queens, you know, like a couple of miles away from Queensbridge, you know what I'm saying? And it was him, Miss Melody, Scott LaRock, God bless Scott LaRock, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. Boom. They was all there. It was just them three. And he tried to do the bridges over. He did South Bronx, and they did all that shit in Queens. And I'm in the, and this is Queensbridge House. This 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 club is called the uh, USA Roller Rink. This is Queensbridge House on Fridays and Saturdays and Thursday. That's our house. Hot day works there. He DJs there. So they didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? I know they didn't know that. But uh, they came. They did their songs. And while they was on stage, everybody was throwing shit at them. We was throwing shit, pizza crust, uh, cups of ice. Uh, we was throwing shit at him while he's performing. And then when he get, when he finished performing, um, uh, Hank Love, from uh, Half Pint, yeah. and um, Hank Love, them niggas was my niggas. They called me on stage, yo, poet, come on stage, yo, boom, boom, boom. So I came on stage and uh, it was KRS One, Scott LaRock standing there, and I told him, yo, let's battle right now. We in Queens, let's battle, let's get it on. You know what I'm saying? But they was wanted, they wanted to get paid. They was like, yo, if we're gonna battle, we gotta talk to the motherfucking club owners and we come back and we battle, boom, boom, boom. I was on some, yo, let's battle now, fuck that shit, let's get it in. But it didn't happen like that. And you know, security came, took me to, yo, you gotta go out the club. But I was cool with the club owner, Jerry Waterman. Jerry Waterman, he owned, he was the manager, club manager. So I was back in the club, running around crazy. And uh, they left. KRS One, Miss Melly, Scott LaRock, they all left. They left in a white limousine. It was an old BDB posse. But like the next video, I seen they made a BDP posse. They had a BDP posse. 
Like a whole a thousand motherfuckers running around with BDP jackets. And they didn't have that when I bumped it to them. When I, when I rushed them, they didn't have none of that. So I think I made them go get his army right. You know what I'm saying? Coming out there fucking with us in Queens. He had to get his army right. But it's all gangster. Me and Chris is cool now. Shout out to KRS1. We are right, right now. Wow. Uh, that's really funny because I heard a, a old radio interview where they talk, talked about you like, uh, yeah, this little boy, poet, blah, 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 and stuff like this, oh, when they were in Long Island. You know Dr. Dre and them? Oh, yeah, 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 NYU. Yeah. I remember that. I remember that interview. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Poet's nothing. A poet's a little boy, but they ain't know. No, they ain't know me. They, they didn't know me. They was just talking, you know what I'm saying? They didn't know that the hood of Queensbridge is really me and, and, and my my goons and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? The real goons, they didn't really know that. But, you know, I was a young boy. I was 16, 17. You know what I'm saying? We had the guns. We had all that shit popping. <laughs> so, you know, they didn't know that. But, you know, shout out to KRS-One BDP, man. We good right now. That's my man. Cool. Um... You came out in 89 with a single called Massacre on Sam Records, which is known to be a disco label. What's the story behind that song? <laughs> that's just a deal we did. You know, Massacre, that's me massacring the hip-hop game over one of my men, not Rockwell Noel beats and shit. You know, Rockwell Noel, he, he's Spanish dude, Latin dude, so he got that Spanish blood and that Latin beat in him. That was one of his beats that he loved, and I loved the beat too. I can't front. Massacre was crazy. Mm. Ain't no than 50 Cent. Now he comes out years and years later with Massacre. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, I massacred niggas already in the 80s, nigga. It's over. But, yo, you know, he did his thing, man. Shout out to G-Unit, 50 Cent. It's my Queens brothers. What up? Cool. Um, the two songs, Now I'm Pumped Up and Taking You Out uh, with Rock Van Noel, they, they, they were re-released in 2007. What song? Now I'm pumped up. He released that stuff. It's on iTunes. That's probably some mix. You know, some new mix or some new shit that Noel probably did. You know, shout out to Rockwell Noel. You know, everybody trying to eat, man. Everybody trying to do different things. So I'm not mad at none of that, man. Eat, nigga. Um, the lyrics on the Taking You Out is unbelievable hard. That's the one that I was talking about. Miss Melody and... Talking about Karis One. The fat goose. Third and yeah, I called her fat and all that stuff. <laughs> you know. But it was all right, cause when I talked to Karis One, me and Karis One sat down and talked, he was like, Yo, poet, man, I had to come at you. I had to come back. I had to say something to you because cause you was coming too hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, I respect that coming from that dude. You know, that dude, you know, he get it in. Mm. So, you know. He was like, yo, Poe, I had to come at you, nigga. You came too hard at me, yo. I was like, yeah, man. You know, and that was just the beginning, you know. If I would have really focused, focused in on, on that shit, it would have been crazy, but, you know. Bricks PTV. Subscribe now. Get abonnieren.